everyone, it's Bev here. Welcome to episode 10 of the Western Bulldogs AFL Evolution 2 Coach Career Series. We're down to the nitty gritty now. We've got four games to go until finals, and I'll be playing two of those in this episode, the round 20 and 21 matches, and they're both set to be absolute crackers. Now, if you haven't watched the past episodes, make sure you go back and watch them before diving in to this episode episode. All right, let's not muck around. Let's get straight to the MCG for a big game against the D's. Go the doggies! Get up and about. Get excited. The dogs are at the MCG for Saturday night footy against the Demons. And a big game coming up too because Melbourne currently sit inside the four and they did beat us in round 11 by five points in what was a nail biter. There's the D's team. All the regular faces seem to be there. As we take a look at the Dogs team, just the one change. Unfortunately, Jack McRae is out for two weeks with a strained groin. In comes Bailey Smith, of course. Bont and Trelaw still missing due to suspension. Let's get this round 20 match underway at the MCG. It's the Demons and Dogs. The Dogs looking to win eight in a row here. Dunkley had it lost at his Libba. I can see Bruce, he's all by himself, could play on here and does. Still going Bruce, he kicks it through, the Doggies had the first. It's going to be a tough ask I think to win this game just because we're missing three crucial midfielders tonight. In Bon and Pelly, Trelaw and McRae, but this is a good start. Bruce, just got the handball away. Not to anyone in particular, though. Here's Majak Dor inside 50. Wiedemann. He's taken the mark about 45 metres from home on a slight angle. Oh, Bailey Williams is giving away a 50. So this will be a certain goal now. That was an accident. I did not mean to do that. So Sam Wiedemann now directly in front to level the scores back up. Makes no mistake. D's on the board. Brown beats English in the ruck. He gets it back here, Brown. Slams it inside 50. Nice work there, although we've coughed it up and the D's make the dogs pay. Here's Waitman. Gee, the kick's worked in the end. Here's Wallace. Scores a level. Brown beats Martin in the ruck. And then comes away with the footy. Kicks it forward and Spargo. Gee, the dogs. Beaten out of the centre a couple of times already. A bit like in real life at the moment. And Spargo just gets it through. Martin. Hunter. Martin now. Turned it over, but the D's have now turned it back over to the Dogs. That's a poor handball, but Jamara picks the footy up. Waitman gets it through. Oh, that is not good. There was... Well, Wiedemann was the one that marked it, but there was a free man... Before his, before him, as Wiedemann sends it through. So the D's are back in front. High ball up in the air. Oh, Spargo. Beats Wood, I think it was. And then he sends it towards Hunt. So the D's have started this second quarter off pretty well. Especially if they can kick this and they do. Keith with the football. Just sends it forward. Can Aaron Norton get to it? He did, but he lost it. Loose footy. Jamara's advantage. Jamara picks it up. That's a steering kick. A beautiful kick. Straight through the middle. What a goal. Back in the middle. Good bounce by Razor. Wiedemann beats English in the ruck. That's a good bump from English. And then he gets his own football. And now Jamara has the football for another goal. No. Misses. 
Still going, Johansson. Oh, nice kick towards Lockie McNeil, who was pretty good in his debut last week. Libertore now. Off to Hannon. Bruce is by himself. Four to the footy. Handballs it off to McLean. McLean towards Dale. That's a brilliant bit of play. But it counts for nothing if Dale can't convert this shot. Here we go. To put the dogs back in front by two points. Dale lines up at the MCG and does put the dogs back in front. What a play that was. Go the doggies. Nice tap there by Dale Daniel, though it did land in an opposition's hands. And now the kick towards goal from Tomlinson. Takes one bounce and goes through. So the D's are back in front. Here's Smith running through the corridor. Dunkley over the top. The Demons knew what we were doing, but the Dogs are still in possession. Oh, look at all these players. Four to the footy. One of those is Jamara. Who wanders into an open goal and put the doggies back in front. Back in the middle. Brown with the football after the dogs coughed it up. And Jones takes the mark. Gee, I hope Nathan Jones gets into that Demons team in real life before the finals. Especially if they made the grand final. Anyway, that's a good kick from Jones. So the Demons are back in front. This is a ripping game. An absolute ripper. Good tackle from Bruce. Waitman to McLean. Over the top for McNeil. No, Waitman takes the mark. So Waitman, he missed a shot in the dying seconds of the last encounter against the Ds. Let's see what he can do here. He drills it home. Drills it through. And the Doggies are back in front. Waitman has two. Half time at the MCG, the home of footy. And the D's trail the dog. Seven straight 42 to 7 to 44. This is a ripping game at the moment. Do hope you're enjoying this one. Christian Petrarca has got the footy. A long way from home. He's not going to go for the shot, is he? I think he might be. He's not going to make the distance. What? Are you serious? There were two Western Bulldog players there. And Wiedemann beats them both and takes the mark. That is flabbergasting. Demons back in front. They've got the first of the second half. Daniel to Wood. Wood to Libba. Libba off to the side to Hannon. That was good. Libba again. Good work rate. Bruce direction. Went over his head. That's throwing the footy. Well done, Bruce. Oh, look at this. Oh, the kick was bad. Wallace has still got it, though. That's going through. That's going through. What a goal. Wallace has two. Oh, Hunter. I needed to get rid of it quickly, and I failed to do so. So a free kick here to the Demons. Holding the ball. It was a good tackle. Oh, what's going on there? Oliver takes full advantage of the open goal square. Demons back in front. Martin to Bruce, who gave it up. Martin gets the handball away towards Haddon, who's taken high. So this to put the dogs back in front. This is a ripping game. I'm really enjoying this game. And Haddon against his old team puts it through. Three-quarter time siren has sounded. Massive fourth term coming up. It's the Dogs by three points. Keep watching. Oh no, here go the Ds. Oh no, they're back in front. Oh, nice. Daniel handles it out in front of Bailey Smith who picks it up. Go Bailey. Go all the way. Is that going all the way? Yes, it is. Doggies are back in front. Good on you, Bazalenka. You beauty. English. Baza. Oh, Jamara. Get him. 
How's that? What a goal! Oh my god! Dunkley, what a goal! Doggies have extended their lead! Oh! Back in the middle. English. Dale. McNeil. In fact, no, it's Hunter who gives it off to McNeil. That could be the sealer. The Doggies could be winning their eighth straight here. It looks like it. Very much so. Got some hands to it there, the Dogs. But the D's come away with it. The siren goes. What a win from the Doggies. In what was probably, in my opinion, the game of the series so far. That was a thrilling game. So many league changes. And in, in the end, it's hard to... It's hard to believe that the Dogs won the game by 15 points in the end. Given it was pretty much a very narrow lead for both teams all the way through. But in the end, the Doggies come out on top. That's their eighth win of the season. Eighth straight... Eighth straight win of the season, I should say. 12-3-75, the Dogs defeat the Ds. 10 straight 60. There's the final match stats. There's the major ball winners. I thought Libertore and Bailey Smith were superb. Wiedemann kicked three goals for the Ds. Hugel Hagen, Waitman, Wallace with two each. Let's see who the player of the match is. Wiedemann gets the three votes. Harms gets the two votes. Josh Bruce scrapes in for a vote. That was a great win. A great game. A great win. Doggies, doggies, doggies! Bark, bark, bark! Stick that up, you Ds! Let's now get to the next game. Here we are back at Marvel for our round 21 clash against Essendon who are sitting on the bottom of the ladder. They're doing well in real life. They'll probably make the finals. But in this game, they're on the bottom. Three changes. Trelaw and Bonapelli are in. So too Jordan Sweet, who replaces Stefan Martin, who's out with a strained groin. Expected to be out for two to three weeks. McLean and Jure also out. Here we go. Round 21 underway on this beautiful Sunday afternoon at Marvel. It's the Dogs taking on Essendon. And a big kick inside, 50. Dunkley misses. Should have kicked that. Redmond to Shield. Dodgy old kick from Shield. An up and under. Comes off hands and Keith now has the footy. Gives it off to Bond. I don't know if there's anyone in the goal square. I don't think there is. Keith wants the footy back. But I'm going to go all the way here with Bond and Pelly. Look at this. Oh! He got tackled. It's gone through though, thankfully. Oh, gee whiz. What about that? Phillips beats English in the ruck. Dogs get a clearing kick. Off hands. Waitman picks it up. Hannon's got the footy now. McNeil. Good kick from Hannon. Good mark by McNeil. This for the first two. I don't think he's got it. Nope. Oh, that's a nice handball. Norton. Smith. McNeil. Good goal. Doggies have the first two. Here go the Bombers. They're looking dangerous here. And that's a goal. Yep, Jake Stringer. English. Had it, lost it. Here's Wallace running through the corridor. He's got Bonampelli. Bonampelli's got a free man ahead. It's McNeil, in fact. Hugo Hagen takes the mark. And I'm going to go all the way out to Dale. That's a nice kick from Hugo Hagen. Maybe a tougher angle, but is it any closer? I don't know. I think it kind of is, but the angle's harder. Anyway, let's see if Daniel can do it. Sorry, Dale can do it. You betcha! Get in there! Here go the Bombers here. McDonald Tip and Woody receives a handball. 
Cordy couldn't quite get the mark. Oh, no. What am I doing? I tried to handle it to Cordy. Nice. So Langford with a shot here. To cut the margin back. Good kick. Bombers reduced the margin. Oh, I can't even get the ball. Oh, you're joking. Laverde puts the Dons in front here on the verge of half-time. Half-time and the Dogs, they trail. The 18th-placed Bombers, the score 3-2-20 to 3-4-22. Here we go. Second half about to get underway. Dons by two. And they win the centre clearance here. They go forward, but Zane Cordy, oh, how did he not mark that? Doesn't matter, Hunter's come away with the footy here. Then balls it off to Williams. Williams sends it down the line. Oh, nice. Hugo Hagen now with the footy. Tell you what, that's looking like a good kick. That's a ripper. Jamara Hugo Hagen, take a bow, my friend. Brilliant goal. Here's Stringer at centre half forward. Looks like he's going for the shot here. Tell you what, looks like a good kick, but it doesn't make the distance. Oh no. Oh no. Just had to rush that through. Had to. So the ball comes back into play. The Bombers have a two point lead. English. Oh, you're joking. That snuck through. Here's Gleeson. Good kick into the centre. There's so many free men. I'm not sure what's going on. That kick forward. Spoiled into the hands of a bomber. Bombers still have it here. That stringer, I think, going for goal. It is, and he's got it too. Sweet. Taps it to the wrong player. Dogs come away with the footy. Nice handball. Trelaw should kick this. Yes, he does. Get in there. Come on, Dogs. We've got a lift. So Dylan Shield's got a kick here. Oh, what is going on? Andrew Phillips. Why is he by himself? Oh, this game is a bit frustrating. Bombers have got the upper hand here. He's got it. McNeil Johannesson Sweet Look at all this space Waitman, play on Waitman Into an open goal Bang, that's the goal we needed The dogs Here goes McDonald, Tip and Woody And now he handballs it off Oh no, is that Maybe Hooker, maybe Laverde It's Laverde Had an open goal Ahead of him and that's not the goal the Dogs needed to concede. Good spoil, although Tim English lost it. And now the Don's going forward. Snelling. <sighs> this is not good. It's through. Over the top. Gets it back. Gives it back off. The Bombers exchange handballs inside 50. Stringer takes the mark. Just not feeling like we're going to get the job done here. The Bombers have been really good. And that kick has gone through. Stringer has dominated the Dogs. Absolutely dominated the Dogs here. He's got three. Back in the middle. Wallace gets a kick away. Ah, oh, Ambrose takes the mark. Stringer. Oh, no. And the Bombers are having another shot for goal here. Laverde. 
He's got it. Oh, you're joking. I just don't know what's going on with all these players by themselves. As McDonald Tip and Woody lines up to add another goal to the Bombers. And he does. So there's the siren. And the Bombers have upstaged the dogs here at Marvel. I'm pretty disappointed about that result because the Bombers are 18th on the ladder and the dogs are inside the four coming into this game. So that's a really disappointing loss. Let's get to the point. The dogs lose to the Bombers 6-4-40 to 12-6-78. There's the final match stats. The major ball winners, well, Dylan Shield, Stringer, both with 11. The highest for the Dogs was Easton Wood with eight. No multiple goal kickers for the Dogs. But a different story for the Dons. Stringer with three goals. Laverde also with three goals. Phillips with two goals. Let's take a look at the player of the match. It goes to all Bombers players. Stringer was best on. Phillips and Laverde also get votes. Even though we just broke our eight game winning streak, the Dogs still hold a top two spot. They're in second place behind Port Adelaide. They are four points behind Port Adelaide. And then you've got West Coast in third, North Melbourne back inside the four. And then Melbourne a fifth, Richmond six, Geelong seventh, and rounding out the eight is Carlton. You can see there St Kilda four points. No, they are outside the eight on percentage. So that's how the ladder stands. Where are the Bombers now? They've uh, they've increased their spot. They are now 17th on the ladder. They were 18th going into the match against the Dogs. But anyway, that's going to do it for episode 10 of the Western Bulldogs AFL Evolution 2 Coach Career Series. Thanks for watching. Of course, next episode, we'll play the final two games. Cannot wait for that. Uh, but until then, make sure you uh, like this video, comment down below, and press that subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to follow me on all my other social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I'm active, very active on those platforms. Until next time, go the doggies! Let's hope they can win against Port Adelaide and book themselves a top four spot. Come on, dogs!